Welcome to This Is GAA, a podcast that concentrates on Ulster GAA football, with a big take on Ulster GAA club and county football teams in provincial and all Ireland competitions, and also my look at all the latest GAA news. The podcast is available in audio form on Amazon Music and Audible, and also on Spotify, and it's in video form on YouTube. So let's jump right in. Okay, welcome to This Is GAA. Uh, once again, a weekly roundup. We're going to look at Allianz GAA football and the Ulster counties involved in divisions 1 to 3. I'm looking at the round 6 tables, the round 7 fixtures and of course predictions. Round 6 is always moving me in and so it proved once again this year. It's just a pity that the powers that be don't promote it as such. There's absolutely no way the GA will please everyone all the time, but the Allen Steeds are the best competition and they're woefully under nurtured. Anyway, as always, there'll be 16 games in the leagues, and this weekend in the final round, matches in round seven. Um, all will have some form of jeopardy, except three Cork v Armagh, Donegal Mead, and London Cardo are essentially all dead rubbers. 32 teams and 19 still have something to play for and it's going to be an interesting weekend and as usual I'm going to concentrate on the Ulster Counties. Division 1 first. Top of the pile Derry on 10 points of course. Dublin on 8. Kerry also on 8. Tyrone 6. Mayo 6. Galway 5. Common three and Monaghan already relegated on two. Kerry v Galway. Um, our fixtures are Kerry versus Galway, Monaghan versus Mayo, Derry v Roscommon, and Dublin v Troll. A point against Roscommon will be enough to secure a final place for Derry. They could still lose and qualify, providing a combination of their loss. Kerry win over Galway and a Dublin victory over Troll. Don't squeeze them out. Score difference. Although even Derry, even if Derry ran their bench, they look too strong and Roscommon will need all results. A outside a win. An upset for a win to stay up. Matching Kerry's result in their game in Crow Park will see Dublin into the decider. Basically win and you're into a league final. And Daisy Farr will keep it as simple as that prepares his team. Roscommon need to beat Derry and hope Kerry win over Galway and that could see them leap for part of Joyce's team on score difference into second place and it would go to score difference as Galway and Roscommon through in their head-to-head meeting. One of the female is essentially a dead number and male manager Kevin McStay has already stated that he's content with league safety and may be running his panel players in this game and also those returning from injury as he prepares for their championship opener against New York, which is set for the week following the league finals. My prediction here is for a Derry v Dublin league final, most common to join Monaghan in Division 2 next year. Division 2 sees Armagh and Donegal already promoted on 11 points each, Cavan next on 7 points, Cork next on 6, Mead next on 6, um, then followed by Louth and 4 from Anna and 3 and Kildare who have no points are of course already relegated. The fixtures are Kildare v Louth, Donegal v Meath, Cork v Armagh and Cavan v Fermanagh. As an Armagh supporter I have to be very happy with promotion already secured and 7 goals and 104 points scored with no goals conceded. A league final to look forward to and the championship around the corner all bodes well and we are going in the right direction. Donegal and Armagh have already made swift returns to the top flight and in front of a league final McGuinness and McGuinney may respectively want to look at the depth of their panels for the upcoming final and Ulster Championship. This could mean what looks like an easy win for either or both counties. On paper it may prove somewhat more difficult. Cork will want to take something from Armagh next Saturday when they're at home to consolidate and not improve in their current fourth spot, which could be good enough to get them into Sam Aguirre than it was last year. A team that has already turned its fortunes around, 
as they were staring relegation and Tulsan Cup duties in the face just three games ago. Loud require a draw against the relegated Kildare to avoid joining them in Division 3 next year. Their superior score difference along with defeats for Cork and Mead could see them jump as high as 4th. Fermanagh must defeat Calvin and Loud lose to Gildare to stave off demotion. With Armagh and Donegal already promoted, the only real issue at stake besides jockeying for league position is the possible inclusion in some of our group stages is that relegation battle. Kildare are already down and have looked a beaten side all season. I can't see this changing against Loud, who's shown that they can muster a performance when asked for. So I'm taking Loud to win that one, and unfortunately after such a bright start, it looks likely that even if Daisy Donnelly Shermani eke out a win against Calvin Bradley Park, they will join Kildare in Division 3 next season. Division 3 fixtures Down v Clare, Sligo v Westmead, Antrim v Wicklow, and Alfley v Emmerich. At the top end, a down win or a draw guarantees promotion. They can lose to Clare and hope Westmead also lose to Sligo, although that's not something they will want to be doing. Westmead, a winner or a draw guarantees promotion. Down have a much superior head to head, so a loss to Sligo, even if Down lose heavily to Clare, would exclude them from promotion. Clare, due to Westmead's superior head to head to be Clare, uh, know that only a win v Down will suffice. At the bottom end, with Limerick already relegated, the Whitlow realistically awfully to lose to Limerick to have any hope of survival. For awfully, a draw will suffice, they have a superior head to head v Wicklow, and for Antrim, a winner a draw v Wicklow will suffice. Down v Clare is effectively a promotion playoff and deserves live TV coverage. Hopefully, it will get that. If you've enjoyed this podcast, subscribe, like, or share on whatever platform you are watching on.